okay, I think you're old enough. I think it's, I think it's time we have the talk. We need to talk about the birds and the bees and specifically about why do dogs get stuck after mating? Like, what is that all about? Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, we're gonna focus on dog behavior and specifically the mating behavior. Uh, and one of the reasons for doing this video is because if, if you're not careful and you have an inexperienced male or female or, or really an inexperienced pair, uh, the male can really get hurt. There, there's, a, there's some risk for some pretty serious injury here. So uh, we wanna talk specifically about why they get, why do, why do males get tied up or locked up with a female after the mating process is, is essentially finished. Um, so let's talk about the process uh, from beginning to end. When you get a male with any female that's in heat, one of the very first things, I, I call it the flirting phase, one of the very first things the male's gonna do is go and sniff uh, the female's vulva or rear end. And, and what he's checking for is uh, estrus. He wants to know, is this female in heat and is she going to be receptive? It is possible for a female, if she's early on in the stages of, of being in heat, it is possible for her to be in heat but not be receptive. It takes about seven to 10 days after you notice your female first start, uh, start bleeding for her to be receptive to a male. And he, the female is going to signal that she's receptive by one, not being aggressive and biting his head off, and two, by moving her tail over to the side. If he gets that signal, which is known as flagging, if he gets that signal, then he's gonna go ahead and mount her. And then the thrusting begins, and this, that process, phase two, is, is relatively quick. Okay, once uh, phase two is, is completed and the dog is, and the male is finished thrusting, uh, and he has ejaculated, the bulbous gland at the end of his, of, of the end of his penis actually swells. It actually forms a knot inside of the female. And the purpose of that knot is to keep the semen from, from coming out. And it, it's just a, a way of ensuring uh, the, the best possible opportunity or the best possible um, probability of fertilization. And so this point is when your, your male is really at risk for some pretty serious injury. Uh, if you're brand new to breeding, I would suggest that you get with an experienced breeder and you, you watch them several times. You Don't do it yourself on your own first. Go watch uh, another breeder and watch how he handles, especially a first-time female uh, or a first-time male because they're going to, you're going to catch some little tricks. One of the first things I noticed is they stayed really, really close um, while everything was going on. Not close enough to interfere, but once the thrusting was finished, uh, the breeder was very quick to go and grab the collar of the female. Because if she's inexperienced, this, it's not uh, untypical for her to experience some anxiety, try and, you know, wonder why they're still stuck together and try and pull away. That, as you can imagine, would be very painful for your male. One of the other things that you're gonna need to notice is that the, the male and the female will stand back to back. Well, in order to get into that position, the male needs to get one of his rear legs over uh, the back of the female. And sometimes it's, it's helpful to just be there close enough so that you can help Get that, uh, get that leg over and get them into a more comfortable position. Now once they're back to back, this position, they can stay tied off for anywhere from uh, you know, sometimes really short ties, two, three, four, five minutes. I've heard of 30 minute ties. I've never seen that personally myself. Typically uh, with the dogs that I'm, I'm familiar with, the Labradors, uh, their, their ties are anywhere from seven to 15 minutes. Uh, but you just need to be there and you need to talk to, to both dogs, keep them both calm, and just wait for that process to, wait for nature to take its course, so to speak. Once the, the glands basically deflate, uh, they'll disconnect automatically and, uh, and the process is finished. So there you have it. That's why uh, that's why males get stuck or tied to females after they're done mating. 
Hey everybody, thanks for uh, thanks for enduring that uh, awkward conversation. My kids hate these conversations, but I think if you're going to get into the world of breeding, if you're if you're interested in that and you're going to be a responsible breeder, you have to understand what's going on so that you understand the risks to your male and to your female as well, and you're prepared to keep them calm and safe. Thanks for watching the video. If this has been helpful and you're interested in more dog behavior or dog training videos, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed this video and it's and it's helped you in any way, please hit the like button. It, it does. It actually works in the YouTube algorithm that the more likes I get, the more this video gets spread around. I really appreciate uh, any of the love you can send my way. Have a great weekend, and I will see you uh, see you in our next video.